Hi, I'm Photofonz, and today I'm going to be talking about camera brackets, quick releases, and other really cool accessories that could possibly not only improve your photography, but make it a lot more enjoyable as well. Now, I know that camera brackets aren't the most exciting pieces of equipment, like a fine lens would be, or a brand new camera body that just came out, but it could sure make your life in photography a lot less frustrating. I know it really helped me when I finally found a, a quick release that I could live with. Up until, this was way back in the film days, up until then I was never really happy with the one I was using until I found this one here, which I'm going to show you. I'm still using that one to this day. And believe it or not, a good camera bracket can also prevent wear and tear on your camera body because you're holding mostly the bracket and you're not putting all the pressure onto your camera body. And I know that's happened to one of my uh, photographers that helped me with weddings. He had a problem with one of his camera bodies coming apart. He didn't have a bracket and eventually it started coming apart and I'm, I never really had that problem. But anyway, let me show you the bracket that I'm using. Now this particular bracket, it's actually in two parts. The whole thing here is the bracket that I'm using on my weddings. I also have a quick release on the bottom of my bracket so I can just set this onto a tripod just in case I want to do some uh, portraits, family portraits maybe on the altar or outdoors. And a lot of times I'll use my tripod if I'm doing outdoor portraits because I don't always have to put the camera down and then pick it back up and walk back and forth. So it's really convenient just having my camera on the bracket. Uh, on the tripod as well. And then also my bracket allows me to Velcro my radio slave on here, which is what I use to control my second light. And then I also have a the Nikon uh, extension here that actually hooks onto the hot shoe to the top of the bracket here, which would also allow me to raise the flash up. And generally I'll use this as a fill, but just in case I have to do a quick handed um, you know, right here, a little bit higher than the on-camera flash itself, so it's going to avoid any red eye as well. Okay, this particular camera bracket comes in two parts. Like I said, this is the whole section that I use for weddings, and they don't make this particular bracket anymore, but a very similar one is made by Just Right the Just Right Company. Now, I do realize that you can't use a bracket all the time, especially if you're a photojournalist and you have two or three bodies wrapped around you. It's not going to be feasible to use a, a camera bracket. Uh, so in that case, you would just do without the bracket. And the other part of the bracket that I'm using is also made by Just Right. And that allows me to swivel, to rotate the uh, camera body. So this way I can use, I can take advantage of my, my full sensor by if I'm shooting a vertical, I'll just flip it into the uh, vertical position. Now I do want to say you can, for certain instances, you can shoot everything horizontal. Like for instance, if you're doing maybe just school kids where they might buy a 5x7 or a 4x6 or at the very most an 8x10, it's okay to shoot everything horizontal. But in this particular case, I still like to take advantage of my sensor's format. So I'm using this. And it's really very quick to use. But the uh, piece of equipment that I was pretty excited about is this one here. It's a two-piece section, male and female. It's made by Bogan Manfrotto. And it's the model number 3270. I believe they have um, different versions. So this is the one that I have here and they may be some older versions and they may possibly be some newer versions out but this you can use whether you use this on a tripod is very very solid very quick to take off snap back on locks right in place a great piece of equipment when i'm doing portraits families engagement sessions even kids a lot of times i'll use a monopod and then of course this also just locks into place and 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 even if I'm not uh, using the rotator here the rotating bracket I can at least use this to steady my camera so in case I'm doing a extreme telephoto and uh, it's gonna hold my camera 
body reasonably still. And by using this, this quick release makes life a whole lot easier. So there it is, really quick to use. And the other camera bracket that I still use this actually, I have a couple of these. It's not made anymore, it's called a Jones bracket. And what the Jones bracket is, basically it's similar to the other one that I was using, but it doesn't, it's maybe not quite as fancy, but it's very, very solid. Really a tough piece of iron. And it also has a little section here that you could Velcro your radio slave or uh, other slave that you might want to use for setting off your additional lights. And it also has an, a section up here that I can hook up my, my flash so I could bring it above camera a little bit higher up. Now, even though this particular bracket is not made anymore, I have, I own a couple of these brackets, probably two or three that I still use. And you could pick these up. Uh, as a matter of fact, I looked last week and there's one on eBay. So every once in a while, you'll come across these on eBay for just a fraction of how much they cost brand new. Like I said, it's a really great, great solid bracket. It just isn't made anymore. So that's pretty much it as far as camera brackets go. The other thing I, I did want to show you is the, the tripod head that I'm using. Now, of course, you can use any tripod, but the one that I'm using is made by Unilock. It's a British tripod, really, really sturdy. This is probably one of the sturdiest. In fact, people, sometimes they'll, they'll trip over it and it's never been knocked down by anyone except my stupidity. And of course, on this tripod, I have a grip. This is also made by Bogan Manfrotto. It's number 3265. And this allows you to easily make your adjustment, your level adjustment on your camera. And then as soon as you have it in place, you just release it and it's locked in. And it's also adjustable as to how tight you wanna have your tension. So that's pretty much it as far as camera brackets goes, and I hope this helped you and hope you can also make your photography a lot more enjoyable. Thank you for watching.